Hey what's going on guys, Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today, continuing the Zodiac line. We're doing the Gemini Weave today. Another awesome design by Pavel over at Cetus 550. Check out his Instagram profile down below. That is linked there as well as his uh, picture tutorial. So this is the pattern we're doing and yeah, it's a, uh, I don't know, this one was similar to almost something like a Conquistador where you do a lot of kind of a looping kind of stitches sort of thing or looping knots and uh, yeah, it turned out pretty good just missed one little loop there I can already see it right away <laughs> less obvious on this side but it's okay just uh, be mindful of uh, what you're doing on this one because it is easy to miss a loop here or there you definitely don't want to go back and redo it so guys remember to check out uh, all the affiliate links down below I've already got paracord and all the great stuff and also if you guys like what I do feel free to check out my patreon um, big changes coming at the end of this week with a possible giveaway just teasing that now all right, so that being said, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so to start off this Gemini weave, I've got my paracord set up, the usual uh, double cow's hitch, four strand core. If you don't know how to do that setup, of course, check out my uh, link tutorial down below. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the strand on the right. You're gonna bring that behind all four strands, like so. Now, with the strand on the left, you're going to take it bring it to the front so I've got my uh, strand on the right behind this strand is in front of that there and then now you're gonna take your uh, paracord end I've got mine melted to a point here just made easier to work with you're gonna go in between this first gap here the first uh, set of two strands and you're gonna go kind of on an angle and go through out and through here like that Okay, and then we're going to pull that through like so. Make sure to get any twists out. Okay, like that. Then next, I'm going to do the same thing, just moving over one, kind of one space or one row. So we were in this one, now we're going to go into the middle here. So for a second gap, again, you're going to go through behind, go on an angle and come out through that gap there. Like so. Like that. See? And then again, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Next gap over. And you're always going to go kind of back one, like that. See? Bring that through. If you've done the um, Conquistador, it's kind of a similar principle. Not exactly the same, though. And then, so now we're on the outside here, right? You're going to go through this one. See? Always cross under these two. Like that. Go through. Okay, and then at the very end, you want to go through this last loop here, like so. Bring that through. Okay, so now this is uh, the part where you can sort of cinch it up. So I did this kind of loosely just to show you guys. And if you want to make things easier, you can always use your uh, knotters tool here. But let's just do this first. So basically I'm pulling all the, um, the excess through to the other side. And you want this pushed all the way up. So I'm just gonna work all that excess through. Okay, so there you go. You want to get all that excess cinched out. It's going to be a little tough, might be a little time consuming, but you could also tie it tighter. So now that we've done one, we're going to kind of repeat that um, pattern. 
So bring again strings all the way to the back, the right strand all the way to the back, like so. And then again, take the left strand, have that ready. So this one on top. And then again, you're just kind of going through, um, you know, making those loops wrap around that cord. So again, let's go. So through the first gap and out there, bring that around. So this time I'm gonna try to tie it a little bit tighter just so that I don't have to, um, especially this first knot, that one's really tough. Just so I don't have to worry so much about cinching the um, excess out. And this will probably save you a lot of time if you just pull that tight, okay? So again, bring this through here and up and through. See right there? I'm tying it tighter this time so I don't have to cinch, spend so much time cinching. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that tight. And then this right cord, you can always pull it uh, taut at the end. So again, now through this gap here, and then again through here. Try to keep any twists out. And now we're getting through this one. And then through the last right here. Of course you can use fids too. Probably make things a lot easier, but sometimes you could just melt the cord and it works just fine. So when you're done all that, then just kind of tug on this one and push it up. Okay, and there you go. That is basically the pattern. Let's just do it one more time and go a lot faster. So bring that around. So again, this strand goes here. So yeah, through the middle and out. And again, I'm going to make my knots a lot tighter. So bring that up like so. There you go. So you can always just pass it through to the other side like that and then bring it through here. I don't want to pull it too tight though because uh, it would be hard to get the string, the paracord through. Okay. So again, next one, we'll do this, finish this last set off. And then we could just keep going. So push that through there. Second last knot. Let's bring it through. And the last one. And then at the very end, pull that string on the left to tighten up that loop there. Okay, and then just kind of push everything up and we're good. Okay, so that is the pattern for this, and let's just continue uh, weaving all the way down our length of our bracelet, and then we will finish it off.
Okay, so I'm just about done. Come all the way down to the bottom. And uh, when you get down to this very bottom, you may need to use your fids. The melted paracord ends may not cut it. So let's just go through that really quickly. And to go through here. Up. Okay, so I've come down to the end here, and uh, when you get to the very bottom, you may need to use some fids. The melted paracord ends may not um, cut it. So, this will be a little tricky, but I'll try to show what I can. Let's go through here, bring that out. This goes through here. Probably easier just to take the uh, bracelet off the jig. Let's do that to make things easier. Let's get that out of the way. There we go. So go out the back. Don't have to go through the front here. Be very um, mindful of what you're doing for this uh, bracelet. I did miss a loop in one of my uh, sort of upper up here. I missed a loop, but it's okay. I'm a little sad about that, but not sad enough to go back and fix it. So it's fine. Okay, so we went through that one. Let's go through here. And I think we'll have a pretty easy finish for this one just due to the nature of the pattern. We can just... Uh, Get that buckle off there. And just go all the way up. This is where it gets a little confusing, but it's okay. There we go. There. Make sure you don't have any twists. That's what I don't like about some of this paracord. It's, um, depending on what. What type of paracord you get? Some manufacturers they some seem to twist more easily than others. It's weird. Okay, almost there. Go through this one here. Okay, and the last one. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Um, you know what? For this last one, let's not cut it right there. Let's not cut it right here because it's going to be a little ugly. Well, we could. Or what we could do is we'll bring it back. Yeah, let's um, let's bring it back through here. So turn your bracelet around and just put it through this loop here. There we go. That's a bit better. So now the, um, the cut will be here and here. So let's snip and singe and then we'll be done. Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. Snip and singe that excess paracord and it looks just fine. So almost perfect on this one. I just missed that one loop there, but just don't look at it. <laughs> but yeah, it looks uh, this one turned out pretty sweet. So again, huge shout out to Pavel over at CS550. Another great design by him. Check out his Instagram uh, profile down below. And remember to check out those links down below and where to get Paracord and all the stuff I use in the video. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next tutorial.